Hello my friends, I'm G Hondo, and welcome back to our playthrough of Black and White. We're picking up right where we left off. We were about to get our next set of lessons from the gigantic ram creature thingy. So let's go to it. When I was Nemesis Creature, he often sent me into battle. I foresee the same for you. First, I will become your size to make things easier. Be prepared to get bruised. Don't worry, in time these will heal. <laughs> yeah, hi. <laughs> An arena will appear every time there is a fight. You should know that your creature will fight without help from you. Firstly, let's learn to attack. Click on a part of my body using the action button to strike there. A good hit! You can queue up multiple attacks as well. Try queuing up several attacks on me now. That's right, now you must learn to block attacks. Click the action button on your creature to make him block. That's it! A good block there! You didn't even swing. You'll stop blocking if you do another command. Let us concentrate on dodging. Click the action button anywhere on the ground to move the creature there. That's it! You have learned well. Let us try some friendly combat to test these skills. Will struck. Always oh, one for offense over defense. Well, apparently, I should. Oh, that must have hurt. Oh, I'm kicking a few more times. Will struck. Struck. Getting stomped on pretty bad here. Well struck. It's nice how he says it's well struck, even though I'm getting my butt kicked pretty bad by the score here. And definitely well, even more now. <laughs> that was an important lesson for him. Losing badly. Yes. You show great potential, but work on your technique. I take it you're done with me now? Yes? No? Oh, you're healing them. Okay. I have a secret for you, but I warn you, this knowledge is dangerous. Okay. But come only when you are ready. What I will tell you is forbidden knowledge, dangerous even to gods. You're gonna teach me the secret of how girls think? <laughs> well, it's forbidden knowledge, dangerous even to gods. What else can be that dangerous? <laughs> Why don't you try out what you've learned while I sleep? Deserve some of that for fighting so long. Apparently, I went 
went too fast, turned wood into a snake. There we go. That's a happy cow. Awesome. Well, maybe we'll go do another silver scroll. Um, how did I put those on and how do I get rid of them? S, apparently. Okay. Let's see if we can't go find a silver scroll to work on. Is there something there? Oh no! Some of my poor children are lost! They'll need rescuing! A stranger has been seen putting the children into trances. Really? He has them imprisoned in a secret place. This stranger is to blame. It's got to be him. But if he should die before we find the children, they could be lost forever. Oh, my babies. <laughs> we must act. Tiny lives are at stake. Tiny lives? Come on, who cares? Anyway. Let's move out! Uh, you know, I've always wanted to say that. Awesome. Alright, well, where's this little Piper guy? Okay, sure. It's this guy with a little pipe. Oh, how horrid. I think he's trying to speak. Me, God here. Me, big hungry. Me, name Slag. This ogre seems to be guarding something. A reward, perhaps? He's guarding the pass. He's outside our influence, so let's send our creature to fight him. Can't we? We shouldn't resort to combat with the poor thing. Hmm. He looks hungry. Thank you. Game for spinning the camera around for no reason. It's making it harder for me to find him again later. I'm actually even gonna be able to drop food on him? Probably not, right? sure if I'm even going to be able to, but we'll try. Let's see here. I can. Well, he's eaten that. Is he getting drowsy? Or is it me? It seems to be just standing there, isn't it? <laughs> Except I don't... Yeah, I'm not allowed to actually touch it because it's outside our range. Can I get... you to come do that? I don't know if that will work or not, but we'll try it. See if that will let him get there or not. Because even if he gets there, I don't know if he's actually allowed to open it or not. I have no idea. Uh oh, you've got a mighty rile. Prepare for battle, boss. Doing the fighting method. That's not good. Didn't want to do that by fighting. <laughs> I didn't want to do it by fighting. I thought that was the whole point of feeding them. I guess not. There you go. Get a good couple of shots in. 
This is the scenario where maybe the tiger would have been a bit better. But the tiger apparently was dumb as rocks, so maybe it's just as good. Pull back from the fight and try again when we've recovered some strength. Yeah, that went poorly. Oh, I can't even get him to stand up. Okay, well, so be it. The ogre's guarding something. We should investigate. Yes, we know he's guarding that. Maybe I have to give him more food. Maybe it's a start, but it's not enough, maybe. It's worth a shot. That big oaf's as thick as a rock. He's gone right to sleep. Oh. Now we're allowed to. Okay. A beach ball? We went through all that for a lousy beach ball. Hold on. A spell dispenser just appeared near our temple. Oh. Arrow keys got stuck. First and foremost, let's drop off this second beach ball. <laughs> yes, you can play with that, you're allowed. And apparently near the temple, we got some kind of dispenser. I'll take its word for it, because I don't actually see one. Oh. Do you seriously just fling that? that far. Mm. Well, as long as he's having fun, I guess it's alright. Get away from me, you big monster! Prove me, I don't care. I won't believe in you. Your creature won't hurt me. I'm too fast. Tie him up, boss! He's getting on my nerves! He's right, and he won't get away when he's leashed to our creature. Why? Prove me, I don't care. I won't believe in you. Get away from me, you big monster! Your creature won't hurt me! Tie him up, boss! He's getting on my nerves! He's right, and he won't get away when he's leashed to our creature. Wait 
prove me. I don't care. I won't believe in you. I'm invulnerable to you. Help! I'm having a panic attack! There we go. Finally got him. I'm invulnerable to you. Get away from me, you big monster! Prod me, I don't care. Help! I'm having a panic attack! Ah! Ah! You got me! Let me live! Don't eat me! If you spare me and take me to my cave, I'll release the children. I only wanted a family, but the village women said I was too ugly. Oh, boo-hoo! Let's turn him into a creature snack! But if we take him to the cave, we'll save the little ones. Hey, wow! I was gonna suggest that! <coughs> Yummy! That's extreme bad taste, if you ask me. Yeah, I didn't actually want you to do that. <coughs> nice! Another of those cool miracle dispensers. Why don't we go and get that last lesson from that ram thing, and we'll call it an episode. Wherever it is. There you are. Please, use the leash to bring your right. creature to me. Okay, here we go. Come, little one. The most important lesson of all awaits. It's the key to this world. It's the very secret of godliness. And it's the way you'll triumph. Follow me to the mountain. I will tell you everything there. I must tell you the secret of the creed. It's the source of godly power. Creature, speak no more. Nemesis, my old master has returned. Quickly, come close, my friend, and listen well. Secret of the Creeds? Nemesis, he is so determined to be the only god. He wants to destroy all other gods and their creatures. He wants ultimate power. Silence! You will die for this. Find the three parts of the Creed which are aligned. This is the only defense against Nemesis. Now run! Get away from here! Leave! You can't help me! Seek an ally to help you find the creeds! Now run! Get away from here! Or just stand there like an idiot. <laughs> Toast. 
That's very sad. Well, as sad as that is, that is where we're going to leave off for today. So, thank you to everyone for watching today. And until next time, folks, stay calm. And I hope you come and chill with me again in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye now.